Well, I first saw the painting last November time, just after um, the commemoration and the cenotaph, and it was in the city library. And when I saw it, I was very emotional. I think the content of the painting brings to everyday life what people many years ago did for us in the Great War, how they sacrificed their lives. And the actual content of the painting um, in a way haunts me because if you look closely at the faces uh, of the men going off to war, um, in the hands stretched out of the young children to their fathers going out is very emotive. And uh, I was overwhelmed to be quite honest. And when I saw the painting on display in the library, there was a signpost saying it was moving to the Imperial War Museum in London. And I just knew that if anyone felt the way I did about it, it possibly may not come back to Newcastle. And I just felt my heart of hearts that I couldn't allow that to happen. So I went home and spoke to some friends and spoke to my husband and the family. And then we went down and had they had a look. And I'm thankful that they felt very much the same as I do. I get very emotional just looking at the picture, to be quite honest. But the fact that we've put, moved so much that we decided we would purchase it and give it to the city on long-term loan so that everyone can see it and it will be housed in the city library. And I hope generations to come will feel moved by it because the children brought forward and in 20th century clothing just makes it seem so much real and it is as real today in this world that we live in and the love they show arms stretched out is very poignant the fact that a lot of the men as we know never came home and um, it resonates with the sculpture the grade one sculpture at Barris Bridge and I think it's fitting it has a home in perpetuity in Newcastle for everyone to see.